Hi. Welcome to another warning video. I am with Prime Force 1 and Nick Cat 10. Today, it's a warning video on TH, or should I say Sega Sonic Gamer. I don't care if I said TH's old usernames, because guess what? Usernames do not make a difference. We are here to update on some things. And we are going to be telling you what happened, and why you should avoid Sega Sonic Gamer. 1. Every time he gets called out, like a warning post or a warning video from any user, he gets ridiculously upset. That gets to the point where he had to send everyone, including me to the voice chat just so he can rage about someone who is criticizing him. This makes every one of us super uncomfortable with his voice chats, and this wastes our energy and time. It seems like he has nothing better to do apparently. It is best if you ignore his voice chats completely. 2. He tried to blackmail or manipulate his old friends. That is a very dangerous mindset to have, and it's not something he should ever do. Blackmailing your old friends, or manipulating them to go after victim, by sending attacks or a private stream yards just for a talk? Seriously? That's very low if you ask me. It's too bad that he has only one white knight that relies on him, which is technically a one army. Except, that looks nothing like an army either. Because two people can't take all groups down. That's laughable. Sorry, but everyone cut ties with you. So if he ever tries to blackmail you, or manipulate you, for your own sake, please ignore him and block him immediately. Oh. By the way guys, there's one more thing, there's one more thing I have to say. Well, all I gotta say is, it's not Prime's fault, it's not really Prime's fault that he got involved. He was really forced to do this, he was forced to uh, do all this crap from a TH. So please, stop burning his name, it's not really his fault. He didn't want to do this, so... I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna clear his name. I'm clearing his name right here, right now. So, yeah, it's not his fault. So, yeah, it's only TH's fault that Prime Force got involved. So, yeah. So, yeah, Prime Force is innocent. He's innocent. Not TH. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all I have to say, here are Prime, Nick Cat, Brick and J Dog's part. They will now say their testimony. What is up everybody, it's Nick Cat 10 and I'm here with our buddy Prime Force one uh, Thank you to Funny Guy for giving us the opportunity to come on and make our piece as well. Uh, we're not going to make this any longer than it has to, so let's just cut to the chase. Um, yes, we are aware that... Um, the individual being spoken of in this video is still causing mayhem and we are aware that our name was shadow dropped out of nowhere and we're just gonna say this now before anyone starts to throw us into this mess and any other channel gets us involved we want nothing to do with this we don't care that this is going on whatever happens between this person and any individual he argues with is none of our concern or business if you try to get us involved in this fight we will report you and we will and we will talk about it. We do not want any action. We do not want to be involved. And if you try to get us involved, we will report you. We want nothing to do with this in the slightest. Uh, anyway, I said my piece. I'm going to let Prime Force uh, say his as well. And then we're just going to end it here and let Funny Guy finish off. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to... I'm not going to like waste anyone's time here. I just want to speak my own piece. Nothing that much. Now, if you, if, if you excuse me, let me, let me start. If I'm not mad at anyone, I'm not mad at, at I'm not mad at, um, the, the individual himself. I'm not, I'm, I'm just mad at myself. I'm mad at myself for trusting him to begin with. And here's why. I thought he was a nice person at first, but my instincts came to me. Like my kindness and 
and, and look where that led me to. Down the drain. People still depict me as a bad person. People still think that I'm associated with him, this and that. People call me, me different names and all that. People p- pointing the finger that it's me at my fault. And people basically thinking that that I was I was basically participating in his actions and all that. I wasn't people think thinking that I'm covering all of his tracks. But in reality, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to begin how can I say this? I don't want to I didn't want I didn't want anything to do with it. I wanted to mind my own business and I didn't want to be a part of it. I didn't want to. And you guys basically think that I participated in all that shit, but in reality, I didn't. I didn't want to be a so I didn't want to participate in none of all none of that BS that he did. I wanted to stay. I wanted to basically stay out of it. I wanted to stay out of it. I wanted to make regular videos. I wanted to basically take take breaks, spend time with my family, spend time with some with my my brother, my cousins, all of them. But he basically, how can I, I'm not gonna say it, but those basically prevented me from spending time with my loved one, my family, and also my sibling, my, not my, sibling, my brother, and, and my cousins. And even also celebrate the holidays and, and events with them. It basically got me to the point where, where I basically had, where I basically became became all stressed out physically and mentally heck I even had to go to, go to therapy for example that's not in to be and there's also and how can I say this heck it even it nearly made me lose motivation to make regular videos and all that I'm mad at myself and I and, and I still regret at trusting him in the begin with I'm I'm not mad at, at anyone. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at nothing. I'm mad at only by my of nothing but myself because I sh- if if I never stumbled across that video of last year, I would have me and Nick and good old Nick here would never get involved in this in the first place. I'm speaking the truth. So. You can think that I'm. You can believe me. Don't believe me. That's that's fine. I respect your decisions, opinions, and wishes. You can do all that stuff all you want. Now, before we close off here, this is our final piece. <clears throat> do not get us involved. Do not get involved in this bickering if he tries to get you involved. Whatever happens between this individual and anyone he tries to argue with, whether it's public or online. Keep it to yourselves, okay? Do not get other people involved. Do not make your fight public. There's no need to get people on the internet you don't know involved in this nonsense, okay? There's no need to, alright? And also, we do not wish anything bad on th- this individual or anyone that this individual associate with, okay? Just because we do not associate with them or we wish nothing bad on them does not mean, well, we want anything bad to happen to them. We wish them nothing but the best. However, any problems that used to involve us with them, we don't want any association with. However, all we ask is that you do not clown on these people and give them a hard time for no reason. They're just trying to live their lives. Sometimes people need to let off a little steam and that's normal. But don't clown them and mind your own business, alright? This is their fight. Don't. And if that individual is watching, please don't make your battle public and stuff. Anyways, once again, thank you, funny guy, for letting Prime and I say our piece. If you haven't yet already, yeah. subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys whenever Prime comes back from college and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, stay safe, take care out there, and to Lawler one, Prime Force one, and Nick Cat out. I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys as when I make my return. All right, guys, I'm here to do my part. Uh, talking about somebody we know as a Sonic Sega gamer or just TH or whatever you want to call him. I'm just going to start by talking about how we met met him and my experience with him. 
So I'm gonna get started here. Now, Prime Force and Nick Katz had kind of fallen out with uh, Sonic 7 Gamer, and we all figured out from the streams that he wasn't a good person, but then we gave him another chance. And he seemed like somebody that'd be really chill to talk to. That is until he got paranoid and got, uh, got angry and kept calling us so damn much about certain things. I understand what he uh, was talking about, but he was, he, he was trying to egg on about the same topics. Like he was going on and on and on about the same topics. And he even had paranoia about uh, YouTube and trolls. He was feeding the trolls and all, of the, all that. And he tried to make us believe that his friend Media Ninja was a bad person when he was not. He just wasn't being a very good friend uh, to Media Ninja. And we're just, we feel very sorry we didn't believe Media Ninja at first. But now we know the truth that Sonic Set Gamer is not a good person. He's mostly a low cow. I remember some mornings he would just call me and uh, randomly just wanted to, to talk to me. And he would take his anger out on some of us for no fucking reason whatsoever. It's like, we have nothing to do with what you're, what you're going through. Like, just, just calm down or something like that, you know? And, you know, I'm glad we cut ties with him. We were hoping he would at least uh, change. And not to mention, he joined my server. He would talk about politics with me, but he didn't want to even talk about it on my server and such. It's like, you could just ignore the politics section on my Discord server. Like, come on. And, and seriously, like, you're almost 30. You should at least try to get your life together. And uh, maybe do something with your life. Like, try to do other things. Because I know people who are that age and up that have already got their life together. You know, at least I tried uh, to, uh, like, do some things with my life and improve myself. Like, you need to be able to do the same thing, Sonic Second Gamer. And that's just all I'm going to have to say. Thank you to Funny Guy for this uh, part of the warning video. And that was about it for me. This has been Brick. I'm out. Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Don't, don't trust Sega Sonic Gamer, bro. I'm telling y'all, don't trust Sega Sonic Gamer. Bro, he ain't nothing but a manipulator, a narcissist. He, he, he he's a big narcissist, but I don't know. Just, all right, let me explain. I'm sorry to say this too soon, but. I'm gonna explain exactly my experiences with him. So, when Prime was supporting my channel, when Prime was a supporter of my channel, um, he told me about this uh, this guy. His name was Sega Sign Gamer. Like I said, he, Prime introduced me to him. Now I thought he was a cool dude. I thought he was a cool dude, but lately he has been troll feeding. He has been raging and stuff. And I saw a bunch of his disturbing streams. I'm like, what the fuck am I seeing? I couldn't watch more because uh, I don't get to. <sighs> Sorry, I fucking yarn. It got too disturbing to the point where. I don't want to fucking watch more of this shit. I never, I, I never trusted him at all. But um, when Prime told me that he cut ties with him for the first time, I was shocked, dude. And then a couple of days ago, they, I got into some phone call about. A Sega Sonic Gamer's problem. And oh yeah, and also I've seen his streams where he screams at his audience. He likes to yell and scream at his own audience. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that shit's not cool.
I'm like, the fuck's your problem, dude? Like, isn't, like, bro, is that, is that shit really that necessary? All right, now, here comes my actual experiences with him. So, Prime and him, they made amends, apparently made amends, they apparently made amends, until there was some drama about Chalk of Randomness, sorry if I brought his name up, my apologies if I bring his name up, but, I don't know if he, I don't know, I don't, I'm, I, maybe he, I'm sure he doesn't mind, but still, hear me out, so there was a bit drama with, uh, media ninja and stuff and when nick gave him an update and when he quickly leaved the call i was fucking alone with him and guess what he started he, he started fucking raging and screaming and i had like fucking anxiety and god it and god it, it gave me fucking really bad anxiety i had a big anxiety attack when i was in i was in i was alone in the call with him and God, he gave me fucking anxiety. And he left the call. And God, I was shooken. Then, then there was another call. And guess what? I had to press. And guess what? He had a meltdown right in front of us. And he literally made. And bro, he literally made me uncomfortable on the voice channels. On the Discord voice channels. He literally made me uncomfortable. You know, but that all got resolved with Media Ninja, but, and then I heard that he storms out o over the silliest shit, over the littlest things, like, if I hear this thing, I'm leaving this thing, like, dude, what the fuck? And then, then him and his little friend are on a mission to take down our groups and stuff. You got Prime acting upset. And then there was some more stuff that I heard, that I heard from him. But knowing my experiences with him, he literally made me uncomfortable. And since then, and a couple of days after he did fucked up my mental health and I wasn't myself I wasn't myself for a bit until I got fuck until I got better hell even people I know personally don't don't even fucking recognize me because of him he ruins family relationships he he ruins our relationships with the people you know in IRL. He ruins everything. He starts. He's engaging trolls. He's a manipulator. He's a blackmailer. He blackmails people. He blackmails people. He's a rage baiting and bro. If you keep this up, you're gonna keep getting sick, bro. You're if you keep the, if he keeps acting this way, he's gonna end up getting fucking sick, sicker and sicker and sicker. He's gonna keep getting sick. You know? And uh God, it's just drama is his only source of survival, you know. Like there is clearly something wrong with this guy. He is fucking cuckoo. He is fucked in the head, dude. But. God, his voice channels, he made me uncomfortable. His streams and his voice channels, he literally made me uncomfortable. I, I recommend y'all to stay the fuck away from him. I thought he was cool at first, but the way he's acting, 
the way his behavior is, I, I don't fucking trust him. I don't trust him at all. He's a man child. He's a manipulator. He's a huge, he's a fucking narcissistic piece of shit. He's a narcissist. He, he, he's just, he's fucked in the head, dude. So I, I think it's far better if y'all don't trust him. Stay away from him, bro. I'm telling y'all, don't trust, do not trust Sega Sonic Gamer. He's bad news and he can't be trusted. He literally can't be fucking trusted, bro. Like, he, I'm not even fucking joking. He literally made me uncomfortable on that voice call. You know? And that really fucked me up mentally. He literally fucked my head up mentally, bro. Like, I'm being serious, dude. Like, <sighs> this guy is fucked in the head, dude. And he literally fucked up my mental health. Like, hanging with people like that can literally fuck up your mental health. Like, for real. All I can say is just stay away from the Sega Sonic gamer. He's not trustworthy. He cannot be trusted. You know, he is just, he's, he's not right in the head. He's basically just, he's not right in the head. You know? He likes us. Oh, also, I heard, I also, he, I was told that he said the N word. I don't care how mad you are. You don't need to, you, you don't say the N word. That's racist, dude. He's also a racist. Like, I don't care how mad you are. I don't even say offensive shit. That, that can make things even worse. But yeah, that's what I'm telling you. This guy is a fucking narcissistic scumbag that cannot be trusted so so i'm telling y'all this now do not trust this guy i never i never trusted this guy to begin with so i i've literally never trusted this guy to begin with i never liked him to begin with honestly he's bad news he's fucking crazy He's literally fucking crazy, dude. He is absolutely nuts, dude. So, if I were y'all, don't trust him at all. I'm, I'm dead serious. Do not trust him at all. Like, for real, dude. He's not a good person. He's not trustworthy. He's crazy. He's cuckoo cuckoo he's fucking he's a narcissist he's a manipulator he likes to blackmail people and he's a man child he's the biggest locale he's gonna be the biggest locale for the rest of his life dude like i'm telling y'all man do not trust this guy he's fucked in the head dude just just don't trust him just just don't but yeah that's all i'm gonna say uh Whoever the fuck is next, stay tuned. But anyways, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Peace. So, oh yeah, a couple of other things I want to say. There's some shit I forgot to say before we get to the next part, to someone else's part. So, during the media ninja, speaking of the media ninja situation, he fucking immediately manipulated us into getting involved in that shit, bro. You know? Like... For real, though, we literally felt manipulated getting involved in that media ninja situation, you know, about the media ninja drama, you know, and that's what he does. He fucking drags you into his drama and he manipulates people into getting involved in his drama. And we felt manipulated. He'll manipulate you into doing a whole bunch of other stupid shit, bro. And that's fucked up and it's sad. And as for Ace Jagger, according to what he told me. He cheated. He fucking cheated on a fucking video game. He's a video game cheater. 
That's what he does. He thinks winning makes him everything. You know? He cheats. He, I don't know how the fuck he does that shit, but he cheated on fucking Smash Brothers to handle a situation, bro. Like, what the fuck, dude? Honestly, this guy cannot be trusted, bro. He's not trustworthy, bro. Like, that's what he does. He fucking manipulates people. He's a massive manipulator. So, if I were y'all, this guy cannot be trusted. Don't trust this guy. Stay the fuck away from him. Do not trust him. He'll fucking take advantage of you. He'll manipulate you to do some other stupid shit. Don't trust him, y'all. But anyways, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Whoever the fuck is next is next. But anyways, I'm out of here. Peace. So yeah, that's all we have to say. So yeah. And by the way, TH, this is a clip for you. Stop it. Get some help. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this, uh, this collab. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and post the notification bell to all. So you never miss a thing from me to you i don't know why i'm doing this i'm not i'm not fist pumping or anything like that but yeah so yeah thank you guys and i'll see you guys on stream yard on sunday i'll do a gaming stream on monday so yeah and also yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.